Hello and welcome to Merrick Patterson's Christmas Movies. Merrick Patterson stars in Hallmark movies, yeah? She's also starred in The Royals, Unbroken, The Now and The Art of More, amongst others. But today we're going to talk about her Christmas movies because she starred in a total of six Christmas movies since 2000... Well, not since 2021, obviously, but she's been in six Christmas movies, guys, yeah? Coming in... Chateau Christmas, yeah? World famous pianist Margot returns to Chateau Noirs for Christmas. While there, she reunites with her ex boyfriend Jackson, who convinces her to headline their annual Christmas concert. Did you know it was filmed at the Fairmont Chateau Whistler Hotel, yeah? Which is in Whistler, British Columbia, Canada. Also, was one of um, Mike Luke's. Lucas's um, movies. This was um, filmed there. A goof though is before and after the concert scene, Margot wears a bracelet on her right hand. However, during the performances, the bracelet is on her left hand. Did you notice that, guys? If you did, let us know in the comments below. Next up, we have a picture A Perfect Christmas. Professional photographer returns home for Christmas to visit her grandmother and is hired as a nanny for a young nephew of the next door neighbour. But did you know the list the list of computer app ideas that David is working on is App Ideas, Don't Eat Alone on Christmas, Christmas Podcast Navigator, Christmas Music Finder, Holiday Helper, Christmas Cupid, Christmas Tree Donations, Santa's Recipe Cookbook and more. Christmas Travel 101, a Holly Jolly Christmas Wardrobe app, the Perfect Present Wrapper, Christmas Coupons Galore, Rudolph's Rocking Music Stations, the happy Christmas elf. Did you know that guys? Did you make a list of all these? Next, as a goof, sorry, when Sophie gives David her business card, the name says Sophie Griffiths, but they go by Griffith. Griffith. Yeah? He's a mistake done guys. Next up we have the Christmas cottage. While helping to organise a best friend's Christmas wedding, a successful designer reconnects with an old flame. But did you know Wallowa Lake Lodge, where Ava and Mason's wedding is held in Oregon, exists in real life. However, the filming of this movie, including what is used as the exterior shots of the lodge, does not take place at the real Wallowa Lake Lodge. Interesting, but wonder why they didn't use it. But goof, yeah? When Lacey steps out of the room wearing the maid of honor dress, she's wearing open-toed shoes. Not something worn with formal wear, and certainly not in mud December. Did you pick up on that when you watched it? Let us know. If you're a fan of Merrick Patterson's, let us know. Which movie do you like of hers best? Comment below, guys. And if you're enjoying this movie, please give us a thumbs up. Next up, we have Christmas at the Palace. Katie is hired by Alexander, the King of Sansanova, to train his daughter for an ice skating performance during Christmas. Over the course of time, they fall in love with each other. Yeah? Have you seen it? I've seen it. It's a sweet movie. She looks like a princess as well, to be fair. Did you know that yeah, the exterior shots of the Royal Palace are in fact shots of the... Now, I'm going to say this wrong, guys. Um, Sarisino Palace in Moscow, Russia. I apologise for that wrong. That was an hard word to say. But Gusto, during the... Um, the pagnan or pageant, whatever, I don't know how you say that either. A camera is shooting at 24 frames per second. While this is likely the frame rate the movie itself was shot at and would be correct for shooting in North America. The setting was clearly somewhere in Europe where they would be shooting at 25 frames per second or more likely at 50 for a live event. Guys, if you're a geek and you know all this stuff, fair play, but do we really care? We enjoyed the movie, guys. Yeah? Last on next to last is Jingle Bell Princess, which I watched when it first came out and I watched it again recently. I love both actors, yeah? Mary Patterson, beautiful and talented, and Trevor Donovan. Really like his movies. But the Jingle Bell Princess is through a series of mishaps, sophisticated Princess Amelia is stranded in the small town of Tucker, Maine. There she becomes an ordinary guest of the unsuspecting Cutler family. And it's good guys. Really nice feel for movie, yeah? Did you know though, 
Princess Amelia's accent changes between British and Canadian all throughout the movie. No, I didn't actually, guys. I didn't recognise that, and I'm British. Didn't recognise. Next up and last is Catering Christmas. Molly Frost is struggling new. Ca Molly Frost's struggling new catering business owner lands on New Hampshire's biggest event of the year. Yeah. I don't have any um, trivia or any goose for this one, guys. But if you know any, let us know in the comments below because this is our list of Merrick Patterson's Christmas movies. Be sure to let us know what your favourite movie is down in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. We hope you enjoyed it and as always guys, thanks very much for watching. Till next time, goodbye.